Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Kishwani. Today we'll have our lesson number 92 in our series of vocabulary lessons. Day number 92. Let's begin. The very first word we're going to learn has to do with this sort of situation here. What does it mean? Four ninety one is where we start with. What does it mean to do something in an affected manner? What does a person mean when they say that his smile was affected or his laughter was affected or he did something in an affected manner? What does it mean? To do something in an affected manner means to behave, it means to behave not as your natural self, you're not behaving as yourself in a natural way, you're not behaving as your natural self, but in an artificial and simulated manner purely to purely to impress others purely to impress others just that's the way that's the way a person might behave that's the way a person might behave if he knows or he or she knows that she is being observed that people are watching her or the cameras are rolling she's in front of cameras cameras are rolling she's not behaving her own self she this is not how she typically behaves in front of the camera her her behavior becomes a little artificial she does not how that's not how she behaves her behavior was very affected that means she behaved in an artificial manner. She did not behave in a natural manner. To behave in a way, to behave, to behave in a way that is not, that is not genuine or natural. So when you talk about an affected laughter, affected laughter means that laughter was not natural, it was not a real laughter, he just pretended to laugh, he, he gave an affected laughter at the boss's joke. Boss made a joke, the joke was no good, it was a stupid joke, but you know he laughed, ah, ha, 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 what a funny joke. It was an affected laughter, that laughter was not real laughter, he produced an affected laughter at the boss's Joe, because you know, he wants to, he wants to, uh, he is a sycophant. Oh, we never learned about sycophant, I shouldn't have gone there. Uh, we'll, we'll learn it one day. Uh, he wants to, he wants to be on the good side of the boss. He, he is behaving like a, uh, like a sycophant and he produced an affected laughter. I'm going to make a note here. Well, we learned later, as I said, the word sycophant. Affected. Laughter, affected manner, affected behavior, which means an artificial behavior, of a behavior that is not natural. Let's learn the next word. The next word we want to learn is, let's put it here. It's an adjective. How is it pronounced? It only has two syllables, D and then mu, demure. What's a demure? A demure means modest and shy. Modest and reserved. Or shy. Demure means modest or reserved or a shy person. 
Now let's put them together. Want to put them together and see what it means when someone talks about I'm um, affected um, demure. Well, affected we know means it's not real, it's artificial. It's just the person is behaving in this way uh, because he or she he or she knows that uh, that the person is that they're being observed. Demure means to behave in a very shy way. An affected an affected demure is a demure, it's a behavior, uh, it's a shyness that is there only for the effect, only to produce that effect, only to make the person wants to come across as a shy person because pers not because the person is a shy person in reality, not because he or she is really shy, reserved, but he wants to come across as a very shy person, she wants to come across as a very shy person. And in that instance you will say that he had an affected demure his shyness his shyness was not real was not genuine he was just pretending to be shy you understand affected demure person who is not really shy but wants to come across as a shy person affected demure person is not really shy by nature but wants to come across as one affected demure. There's a word there's actually a word which means exactly that. There's a word here which means exactly that. Instead of saying affected demure, which means the person wants to, person is being shy in an unnatural way. He's not really shy. She's not really shy. He's behaving in a shy and shy manner on purpose. Instead of saying all that, instead of making so verbose, or instead of using two words, affected demure, there's a word for it which means exactly that. Let's learn that word, shall we? The word is, the word is, it's a very simple word, one syllable only, coy. Coy, it's an adjective. What does it mean? What does it mean to be coy? Well, if you're being coy, if you're being coy, you're behaving, you're pretending to be shy, but in reality, you're not really shy. This shyness is affected. The shyness is not genuine. This shyness is there purely for the camera, so purely for the fact that the uh, person knows that he is being observed. An affected demure is what we'll say the person is being, is when we will say the person is being coy. She was being coy. She was being coy. When I ask her, When I ask her, when I ask her age, when I ask her age, she was coy and evasive. And this is typically, not always, not always when we talk about, when we talk about being coy, not always, but Many a, many a times, on many occasions, this shyness that we're talking about, the, this affected shyness, this artificial shyness that we're talking about, is often used in flirt, flirtatious context. She's, she's flirting with you. She's being flirtatious. So will you, will, will, will you, will you go with me uh, next Saturday to such and such place? Well, maybe. Maybe. She's being shy. She's being coy. She's being coy in an artificial manner. I did not do a good job. I know that. And I hope I didn't do a good job. She's being, she's being flirtatious. Let's learn the other word. Affected, affected demure often, often, but not always, often flirtatiously. She's flirting with you. And that's, that's called being coy. He's being coy. It doesn't have to be per she, doesn't have to be female, doesn't have to be flirtatious. It can also be used more generally. You're just being coy. 
when I asked him uh, what did he get on the, on the, on the exam, he said, well, I, I did all right. He was being coy. He was being coy. It also means not, not to, a person, when a person is not willing to divulge some information. Oh, what did you get for the, on the exam on the last test? Well, I did all right. I did better. I did better than uh, I was always hoping. He's just being coy. He doesn't want to give you the answer. So the second meaning of the word coy, so this is the first meaning. The second meaning of the word coy is when person is unwilling, person is unwilling to divulge, person is unwilling to divulge information or to make a commitment or to make a commitment. The next word you want to learn is this word right here. What does it mean to be evasive? What does it mean to be evasive? Let's put it on the top. E V C The verb is evade. The word evasive comes from evade, which simply means to intentionally to be to be intentionally weak or ambiguous. That's exactly what she was being when I asked her. Hey, she was evasive. She did not want to give me an answer. She was. She was. She was. Uh, she. She was uh, not uh, giving me. A, she was not willing to give me a straightforward answer. She was not going to give. Was willing to give me a clear answer. She was evasive. To not give a straightforward answer. To not give a straightforward answer. What else? How else can we? How else can we articulate the meaning of the word evasive? If you're being evasive, if you're being evasive, you are trying to. You are trying to. If the person is being evasive, the person is trying to. Person is. Person is equivocating. Person is equivocating. To equivocate means to be evasive, to not give a straight answer. Person is person is prevaricating. Person is if you qualify an answer, if you qualify an answer. That means your answer is not straightforward. You're putting you're putting conditions to it. You're attaching conditions to it. You're attaching attaching strains to it. Uh, at, at, uh, attaching restraints rather. You're, you're attaching ifs and buts. When you not when you do not give me a straightforward answer, your answer is full of ifs and buts. You're qualifying your answer. You're prevaricating. You're equivocating. You're giving, you're being evasive. All of these words that you see here: equivocate, prevaricate, qualify. We have learned all of these words, which is why, which is why we did not go into the details here. We have learned these words. I don't quite remember which day it was, but it was either day number 26 or day 27. So, if you're interested in learning the word equivocate, prevaricate, and qualify in in their proper uh, detail with the pronunciation and so forth, with the proper parts of the speech and so forth, watch the video 26 and 27. That was it for today. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.